Hey, what's happening guys? We have done a few videos in the past with op amps using them to create um, non-inverting amplifiers, inverting amplifiers, and other things. But today we are going to use an op amp to create a simple comparator circuit, which is probably the simplest use of an op amp there is. So just a quick refresher on an op amp. The symbol is the triangle. It has a non-inverting input, the inverting input, and the output. That's simple. Now, we also have a plus V and a minus V. No actual ground connection. Now the op amp we're going to use today is the TL072 which is a quad op amp package and let's go over the pin out here real quick okay pin 8 is our plus V pin 4 is our minus V pin 1 is a output pin 2 is our inverting a pin 3 is our non inverting a pin 5 is B out pin 6 is inverting B and pin 7 is non inverting B we're not going to use B we're just going to use the a so let's start and design a simple comparator circuit here here's our op amp non inverting inverting output okay we will connect plus V to our positive rail which in this case will make it 10 volts now we're going to connect minus V to our ground rail which we'll call 0 volts and for our output we'll use an LED which will connect with a current limiting resistor to ground so the way the comparator works is if the positive input is of greater voltage than the negative input the output switches on and it swings to the positive rail this is not a rail to rail op amp so we're not going to get the full 10 volts but we'll get very close to it now what we're going to add into this circuit here to make it work first of all we're going to put in a voltage divider and that is going to be our inverting input we're going to use 1k and 270 ohm and that will be our trigger point with our 10 volts I think it gives us about I'm guessing here right around seven and a half volts now for our non inverting input our what we're going to be comparing we're just going to use a potentiometer and that will come over there to our non-inverting input so what should happen and I say should because there's no script there's no rehearsal I do this stuff live that's why I sometimes make mistakes it happens so what should happen is when the potentiometer here is adjusted lower than this point the LED will be off and when the potentiometer is adjusted higher than this point the LED should be on a simple comparator circuit simple digital logic so let's bring in the actual All right, so circuit. here's the circuit I just drew up for you here's our TL 072 dual op amp um, plus V pin 8 minus V pin 4 
is actually going to ground. Pin two, our inverting input follows this blue wire to our voltage divider here. And pin three, our non-inverting input follows this white wire to the potentiometer. Pin one is um, our A output, goes to this red LED through a 270 ohm resistor. I'm sorry, is that 270? No. Anyway, it goes from there to ground. So, I'm going to power up the circuit. There's our, our little power supply. So there you can see we have 10 volts. And the LED is off. Now, let's bring in a meter. We've got the Anang 8008 today. And if we probe some different points in the circuit, that's our ground. So there's our output, and it's reading a minus 0 0.63 volts. That's strange. Anyway. Okay, from our voltage divider, 6.9. What did I say? 7.5? Eh, close enough for government work, right? Okay, so 6.9 volts. Now here is the output of our potentiometer. 6.885. Now if I adjust the potentiometer to bring the voltage higher, then our reference voltage, the LED lights up because the comparator has switched on. You can see there we're at 7.3 volts and our output now reads 8.4. And it shouldn't matter if I crank this all the way up because the comparator doesn't care. It's digital. It is, yeah, see, it's on and it's off. There is no analog to it. It's purely digital. So if we turn this down, the LED is off. And once again, if we probe, 6.5 volts is our input. Our trigger point set for 6.9 and our output is reading uh, minus six, 62 millivolts. I missed the uh, the MV on there before. I couldn't figure out why I was reading minus 63 volts. But that's what happens when you get old. You forget things. So, there is a simple comparator circuit. And what can you do with it? Well, hell, you can do whatever you want with it. You can take out the LED, put in a MOSFET, and use this to switch on basically anything you want. You can take out the potentiometer and have an input from a sensor. You can take out the voltage divider and put in a potentiometer so you can adjust your trigger point wherever you want. The comparator circuit is incredibly simple. One of the basic building blocks of digital logic, which has these days been almost completely replaced by the microcontroller and that's okay progress right well that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share don't forget to subscribe big thank you to all my patrons especially the new ones which i missed the last couple days because patron didn't send me an email but when i was looking through there today i found you and you'll see your names at the end of today's video. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Wow.